Hey everyone and welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be walking through how to set up your PowerSchool to Schoology so that grades can sync between the two of them. The first thing we need to do is to set up the categories that we're going to be using in Schoology and then housing the grades in PowerSchool. On the left hand side of our class, we want to go to Grade Setup. From here, we need to add a category. Now when adding categories, this must be very specific. To communicate between Schoology and PowerSchool, everything has to be exact verbatim, whether it's capitalizations, punctuations, or spacings. I have my PowerTeacher Pro open here on the left as well, so I'm going to show from this side. Under the grading aspect, we also need to go to categories. Here's the list of categories that I've already pre-populated. This one's going to be an AP Biology activity. To make sure that the two category names are consistent, I'm going to highlight and I'm going to copy it verbatim so that there are no errors. Next, go back to Schoology, add a category, and we'll paste it in. Now we can double check to make sure that there are no inconsistencies between the category names between PowerSchool and Schoology. If you would like to modify the bottom settings, you're welcome to, but for now, I'm going to leave it as is. Now that I have the category created, AP Biology, with the activity setting here, now I can go ahead and put it into PowerSchool. On the left hand side of our Schoology page, go down to PowerSchool setting. Next, we need to configure the different grades. From Sync Grades, move over to Configuration. Next, we need to find the activity or the Power School category that we had then selected. Here's the first one that we are looking for, AP Biology category. Next, we want to select the same one. These two should be identical. AP Biology space hyphen space activity with the same capitalizations and punctuations. Next, we need to save our changes down below. Sometimes if you have your category name is a bit longer, you might also want to click this. It wouldn't hurt just to click this anyway, just in case you happen to forget. This will automatically shorten your assignment titles in case they happen to be too long. If this turns out to be the case that the titles are too long, more than 50 characters, they will not properly transfer. When you're all done, save your changes. Now we, we have successfully set up our Power School to Schoology transfers. Afterwards, when you go into your assignment, you want to make sure to select the appropriate category. Here's one of my assignments that I already have set up, the Digital Citizenship Activity. When we edit the activity, down below, I've selected a different category. However, that will also be transferred over from PowerSchool into Schoology. The two of them will then communicate. And I can now select my AP Bio activity if I would like. When you're all done, save your changes. After the students have then turned in their work, you can grade things as normal. To transfer them over from Schoology into PowerSchool, go to PowerSchool on the left-hand side of our Schoology page. and click Sync Changes. If you use the Sync Changes button, this will sync every activity. If there's only specific activities that you would like to sync, you may use this little turnaround icon to sync just the individual activities. If for whatever reason there is an error, you will receive this view error. If you hover over this, it will generally try to explain this. Most of the errors that come in is, as this one indicates, a category is required, meaning that it is not properly set up. So if they are not set up correctly, you'll get this error. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any more questions.